either you talk about heart or arteries or veins, the basic structure, all the cardiovascular system is like a pipe, like a channel. In this channel, the basic structure is that, for example, you talk about artery or heart, there are three layers always. There's innermost layer, you talk any segment of the cardiovascular system. There's inner layer, there's a middle layer and outer layer. Let me tell you, for example, you take a segment of artery. In the artery, artery has these, what are these cells? All the cardiovascular system is lined by these single layer of flat cells. These flat cells are called endothelial cells. You know it? All the cardiovascular system is lined by flat cells and flat squamous cells, so simple squamous cells, and these cells are called endothelial cells. And these endothelial cells, right? Let us suppose I am making a structure of a medium sized artery, right? Now, endothelial cells are having a special layer of collagen around it on which they are resting. They have a sleeve or cover of collagen, right? These cells are resting on that. What is this called? This is basement membrane or basal lamina. What is it? Basal lamina. And then outside this basal lamina, there is another layer of loose connective tissue. What is this? There is another layer of loose connective tissue and this layer is called subendothelial connective tissue. What is it called? Subendothelial connective tissue. So there are endothelial cells which are resting on, they are resting on, what was this structure? Yeah, basal lamina, outside the basal lamina, what is this? Okay, I will make the change the color of it. So just change it more clearly. Uh, with red, okay. Another connective tissue layer. And what is this connective tissue called? Subendothelial connective tissue. Is that right? Now, outside it, outer to it, there is a very special. Yes, very special type of layer made of lot of elastic fibers, elastin fibers and this is called internal elastic lamina. What is it called? Internal elastic lamina. Let us start from the beginning. What was this layer called? Yes, please. Endothelial cell layer. What was this? Yes, very good. Basal lamina. What was this? Sub, yes. Endothelial connective tissue. And around all these layers, what is this? Internal elastic. Lamina, what is it? Internal elastic lamina. Now, all these layers together are called, all these layers together are called, who will tell me? Intima. Probably this is the layer, the innermost layer, which is very intimate to the blood. So, we call it intima, vascular intima. Am I clear? Now, if I draw a structure in a different way, let's suppose, 
I'm making a structure of a section here, longitudinal section. This is circular section. What are these cells? Yes, please. Endothelial cells. Yes, now you will tell me under the, these endothelial cells are resting on what? Basal? Yes, lamina, this layer. Under that, what is this? Subendothelial? Yes, please. Connective tissue. Is that right? Under that, what is this? Internal elastic lamina or internal elastic membrane. So, this is internal elastic membrane, right? Now, if you come little outer, outer to this, then what happens? Yes, now this finishes the intima. Outside this, what will start is media. What will start? Media. Now, media consists of, in the most of the vessels, media consists of many, many, yes, smooth muscles, right? What we will really find here is a layer of smooth muscle, right? And these are the smooth muscles, multiple layers of smooth muscles. And the real thickness of this layer depends on the type of the artery. For example, now look, this is the middle layer or we call it, what we call it, yes, media, right? This is the media. Out of, inside the media, what is this layer? Whole intima. Now, media starts from where? What was this? Internal elastic lamina, right? This is the innermost area. Internal elastic lamina is part of intima. And anything which is outer to internal elastic lamina is media. Is that right? We are drawing medium sized artery, right? Now, in medium sized artery, there are about 30 to 40 layers of smooth muscles which are making rings. Is that right? But composition of media changes according to the size of the vessel. I told you aorta is having elastic artery. Aorta is elastic artery. Now in elastic artery in the media there will be many many elastic layers. For example if it is not middle sized artery this is elastic artery then in every layer what will be there? There will be layers of elastic tissue, elastic membranes, right? But because it is uh, medium sized artery or I must say that this is muscular artery, so media is mostly muscular tissue, lot of muscle. And in between the muscles, there is of course some connective tissue, there may be some proteoglycans, there may be some basal lamin, uh, this collagen fibers, collagen fibers, proteoglycans, right? Uh, these collagen fibers are produced by which cells here? In the media, there is some elastic fibers, there are some collagen fibers and all the components of media are secreted by smooth muscles. They are mainly secreted by, yes, smooth muscles, right? This is the middle layer and this all was inner layer. Now middle layer has outside it
an other covering. It has another special type of covering here. Right? Another covering it has a very special type of covering. What is this covering over it? No, uh, look, there is something special here which will put a boundary between the media and adventitia. If this was internal elastic lamina, this should be external elastic lamina. This should be called external elastic lamina. External elastic lamina and this was yes what was this smooth uh, this look all these muscles smooth muscles with it with including the external elastic lamina both are together called media right so what was this smooth muscle con concentric concentric or spiral Yes, what are these layers, right? If it is medium sized artery and both of them together are called, yes, what are they called? Media. Both of them together they are called media. So here, this was internal elastic lamina and these are the smooth muscles. Is that right? So what is this showing in this diagram? Yes, please. These smooth muscles are component of yes media, right? And then outside it, what was this? Yes, external, yes, please, elastic lamina. Is it easy or difficult? Then comes the outermost layer, right? This was external elastic lamina. And then we come to the outermost layer. And this is a layer of connective tissue. Right? And in this layer of connective tissue, there is lot of collagen. There is lot of fibroblast. Fibrocytes of fibroblast. There are nerves small nerves, you know the small nerves which supply the artery. Even in this layer, there may be very small art arterioles which are giving blood supply to the outer part of the artery because inner part of the artery can get oxygen directly from the blood but outer part of the artery needs its own blood supply. These vessels which are supplying the outer part of the artery, these are called Vesa Vesorum. Vesa their branches may go up to the media, right? So, outermost layer is a connective tissue layer with a lot of collagen and elastic fibers and fibroblasts. With that, they may have some blood vessels in that component, and these are called Vesa Vesorum because oxygen cannot come from inner layer up to here. So, here are special blood vessels, very small. These are called Vesa Vesorum, which are seen only in large arteries and medium sized arteries. In very small arterioles, they, can, they are not seen, right? And with that, you know, there are uh, many vessels, arteries are getting sympathetic supply, so sympathetic nerves are there, right? Sympathetic nerves are there. They are releasing epinephrine or norepinephrine, right? So, major, you know, these. Uh, Sympathetic nerves are there and arteries are there. Even the outer part of large arteries and medium sized arteries are drained by lymphatics. So, even lymphatics are there. Now, all this outermost cover is called 
yes it is called adventitia right so that is how an arterial structure is there right adventitia right so again and here we'll make adventitia here just to make a proper perspective let's make it as circular yeah what was this endothelial ring and endothelial ring is on yes what is it yes please basal lamina and what was this around it subendothelial connective tissue and now what is the structure around it internal elastic lamina and all the structure up to now is intima and then around that there is a layer of what was this smooth muscle yeah yeah and this will be then external elastic lamina and eventually outside that this will be adventitia yes please what is confusing no sub mean under look okay, okay. look this is endothelial cell which is resting on the basal lamina now under the endothelial cell and basal lamina we have a little connective tissue which is called subendothelial connective tissue because the truly it will be like this that this is the basal lamina and endothelial cell that's actually resting on the basal lamina right and under this situation here is a little connective tissue this is subendothelial connective tissue and then your beloved what is this this wavy internal elastic lamina these three layers endothelium basal endothelium with basal lamina subendothelial connective tissue with internal elastic lamina all of them are here intima all of them are here intima intima mean the layer of the vascular system which is very intimate with the blood <coughs> is that right very near to the blood am i clear out so here is endothelial cells then basal lamina then what is this subendothelial layer is that right then internal elastic lamina so basically all these are what intima then outside the intima there is media and outside the media is again media is present between internal elastic lamina and external elastic lamina internal elastic lamina belongs to intima external elastic lamina belongs to media and outside the external elastic lamina there is adventitia so so the real boundaries especially in medium sized artery boundaries are very clear the real boundaries in three layer is internal elastic lamina and external elastic lamina internal elastic lamina and all the structures within it are intima and structures outside the internal elastic lamina up to the external elastic lamina included are media and structures outside the external elastic lamina are adventitia right so let's have a break